Welcome to Hard Questions, where we gather pastors together to take on your tough questions and answer them right from the Bible. I'm Tom Hollis, the moderator, and today our panelists include... Dr. William R. Glaze, Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh. Pastor Buck Schaefer, Grace Life Church in Monroeville. Pete Giacalone, Rainbow Temple Assembly Guy Church, McKeesport, Pennsylvania. J. Anthony Gilbert, Pastor of Another Level in Mount Washington. All right, pastors, well, thank you for joining us on the Hard Questions panel today. Here's an interesting question, I think maybe more pertinent than ever in our society today. What does the Bible say about gambling? Is it a sin? You know, something just popped in my head. For every pastor that say what it is, I always ask them this question. Would you receive the tithe off of somebody's winnings? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. oh, of course we would. <laughs> oh, of course we another, would. There's yeah. another take on that. <laughs> yeah, we would probably receive the tithe. Some guy said, well, I just won $30 million. I'm going to tithe. Well, since you were against gambling, I won't send it to your church. That pastor Rainbow might be some of his theology, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, you know, I... To say that it's a, a sin, I, I don't believe so. I believe it falls under the whole Christian liberty piece. Um, I believe the same thing like with alcohol and things like that. I believe it falls under that same category. I believe there's a lot of warnings to it. A lot of people use the whole thing about lots and casting of lots that that's it. And that's not what they weren't gambling uh, when they did those things. Um, but I believe where it goes back to, we kind of made a joke about the whole love of money piece and things along that line. But that's where it goes back greed. to, about greed and wanting money and things along that line. That's where um, I think we have to look. You know, what's my motivation behind it? Why am I doing it? And then also stewardship. Mm -hmm. How well am I stewarding my money? God calls us all to be faithful stewards. So if somebody went out and bought a lottery ticket, I don't think they have to show up on Sunday morning and get down and weep before the Lord and say, Father, forgive me, I'm a sinner. But at the same token, if that's becoming a drive to you and you're driven by that because you're trying to get more, then that's where we have to check motive when it comes to those things. So that's my personal stance on well, gambling. It, go ahead. Well, and I was just want to say that the other thing that you, that's involved in it is luck. Mm. And, 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 yeah, and if you yeah, think about yeah. it, you know, people, when they say, lady luck, be with me. <laughs> well, I mean, what are you doing? You're praying. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, really, yeah. you no, are. No, you're, you're right, and, you're and, right. And so in that, in that sense, luck has been personified as a God. Mm -hmm. And in one translation, Isaiah 65, 11, it says, but you are among those forsaking Jehovah, forgetting his mountain, those setting a table for the God of good luck, mm -hmm. setting a table for the God of good luck. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, you know, people that have sold all out, mm -hmm. you know, to, to gambling, I think that there's a sense in which, you know, they, they, they are worshiping. Yes. They're worshiping the God of luck. Amen. And, and believe point. me, I, I come from my whole entire family background. I'm telling you, it's an addiction. It's an addiction just as drugs are an addiction and alcohol. And once that gets in your spirit, it controls you. Right. And, and we're told, let nothing have dominion over you right. as we look at right. the book of Romans. Right. So, and, and again, you want money? Please listen, you really want money? The best thing you can do is whatever you have now, you make sure you worship God with that money. You worship God and not the money and God will see to it. Not, you're not buying your blessings. God will meet your every need. Every one of us came to him by faith and we're telling you, you live the faith walk, you'll have all the money you ever need. Right. Before, you, before you go, Buck, go. is it a sin? Is gambling a sin? Yeah. I, think, I think it all depends where your heart is at. That's right. Yeah. You know, right, right, if, right, if, right. if your heart is into greed, yeah. it's a sin. Yeah. If your heart is into worshiping, you know, as far as, you know, trusting luck, if your heart is into trusting good luck, good fortune, then I think it's a sin. You're, yeah. 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 Would you, I, would I agree with that right down the middle. All it right. can because it becomes addictive. And That's you become it. a slave it, it, to it. It, yeah. it becomes an addiction in your life. You could, this doesn't sound like it's the same thing, but is eating bread a sin? No, no. but oh, there's people, their hands are shaking. I mean, when I get around <laughs> hot Italian bread, I'm going to eat that and eat that and eat that, right? <laughs> but you know, someone says, is a little bit of wine all right? What well, might be? But you know what? If you have an addict mentality and that yeah. dominates your life and becomes an idol, you're done. Yeah. Same way with gambling. Yeah. It can dominate. And what's the fruit it produces? A lot of destruction. You know what the hard part is too about add addictions? You don't know you are one until it's too late. Yeah. Right. Any addiction, yeah. it doesn't matter. Cause somebody say, oh, I'm gonna have a, a little bit of wine. That first glass That's is right. what takes yeah. you. So I think it's for nice. a believer, you have to really be careful because you don't know if you're gonna be strung up or anything along that line until you're already too deep in. 
And we've, we've heard stories, and I, I've heard stories of people that have been delivered from gambling, where sure. their gambling was wrecking their family oh, completely. Yes. They, they couldn't yes. provide for it. So, yes. so traditionally, if we would ask this question 100 years ago of, of pastors, mm -hmm. every single pastor would say, of course it's a sin. 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 Mm -hmm. And I'm still kind of on that, 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 that side of the fence. I think that it, it's a sin, especially if it's controlling you. That's, yeah, that's, that's the, the key, key thing. That's the key you know thing. what, uh, Tom? If, uh, for so so uh, you're the moderator, but you know, I, I, I want to ask you know, this question you know, when you think about it, because I've, I've heard this a lot. Well, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm just doing it as a hobby. I'm, I'm doing it for fun. You know? So in that sense, I guess I'm asked, would it be a sin? You know, I mean, if the person is saying, it's just a hobby, it's, I'm just doing it for fun. I don't know. I don't know. Well, 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 I, I, I went on a cruise. Amy walked through the casino. Babe, can we gamble a little? I said, here's 100 bucks. I said, we'll put that in there, and if nothing happens, we're out of here. We're managing. She hit, man, it kept, coins kept rolling out of there. She said, babe, we need to do this more and more. We need to do this more. And I said, you know what? We're going to buy Come dinner on, with that money. And I said, Pastor Jay wants a time on that. She kept no, the quarters going that. in and in, and finally it came back to nothing. And I looked at her. She said, should we use more? I said, we're out of here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, and you know what? That, that, but that's part of the and thing. It was many is that, years ago, right? The, 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 honeymoon. Uh, honeymoon. The, okay. the, the, the old one arm bandit thing. Well, there's people yeah. that won't move from now. Oh it's not God. The slot machine doesn't oh, have it. It's oxygen. just a push button, from what I understand. But they won't even move to go to the restroom because of, of wanting to just it's keep addiction. putting in the, oh. those dollar it's coins. An addiction. In. Leave it alone. You know, yeah. another thing I believe people that, get, that gamble like that are usually called to be great givers. It's just because they're called to reap a harvest. They're looking for that they harvest. Big stuff. They seek it. They're <laughs> seeking it. So they. So what the devil said? Listen, I know if you sow, you're gonna reap big. And so they're saying, well, turn it and do gambling and try to still reap that big harvest. So if you're out there and you're battling with that, might be a word for somebody. You're saying, well, why am I battling so much with it? Because you're called to finance the kingdom, and the devil's got a hook in you. And if you can break free from that and start sowing and investing into the kingdom, God's gonna give you Amen. more than you could ever Amen. imagine. Amen. Amen. We will receive right. the tithe at our church from gamblers. <laughs> We've got a lot of positive responses about the tithe right here, but please send us your questions at hardquestions at ctvn.org or call 1-888-665-4483 and leave your question that way. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, pastors. And now back to real life.